try to keep it away from these edges, you know, because it could rub it and stuff and everything. You know, but. Guys, Scott's telling me we got a Tarzan horn. I'm Matt and today we are back at Extreme Mustang. Scott has an electric buffer and if you saw from the last video he has a 93 Mustang GT convertible and it looks uh, you know the paint it's not bad but the paint needs some help so today with his electric buffer he's actually going to uh, clean up the paint and so I'm just going to take you guys along uh, he's got chemical guys compounds that he's using and anyway let's uh, go ahead and take a look and see how this process works. So here's the next compound. Okay. Alright, so here's the compound. Here's the cut and polish. Alright. So, so I'll show you. Use this in stage one, the ultra cut compound. Right. So oh, you this change is, this to, okay. So you change the pad to the. This is a. This is a me. That's a heavy cutting compound, guys. This is a medium cutting compound pad. Okay. So this is an optical grade compound. So, you see the difference here. Yeah. I'll go through here. Now, now this is another compound, mm -hmm. but it's more of a, it'll get more of the stuff out of it. You would consider this kind of the second stage? Yeah. Oh man. There you see more of the Yeah, I didn't think it was gonna look that, that different, but uh you can tell even from that side how this side's right. brightened up more. Yeah, you're gonna see more of the scratches and stuff after. Yeah, yeah, because I mean Yeah, you're cleaning up everything else. Yeah, you know, clean it up more and more. What you're seeing is getting less and less and less what you see. This is the polishing pad. Okay. So three pads as well. This is actual cut and polish. Okay. So it's so it's like a light compound mm -hmm. with a polish in it. So once you start polishing it, then you'll see the actual depth and deepness of everything okay. starting to come out. And I'm only kind of stopping halfway right. so you can actually tell see the it. difference. See a little bit of difference in the head wipe down. Oh man, there we go. Well, that's glossy. This is what polish puts all the oils back into the paint. The compound cuts through it. Okay. Mm hmm. There's one more step. And it already looks way better. So you can see the clarity in it. Mm hmm. It's more like a mirror. Yeah. I don't know if it'll show up on camera, but I can definitely see it. Well, you can look kind of like right here, and then you can look here. You can, this is kind of a cloudy reflection. This is a clear re yeah. reflection. Yep. You see the clarity of it? Mm-hmm. Is that mothers, all mothers, or just the first stage? Oh, it's not mothers either. It's, this is chemical guy stuff. Okay. Now, this is the final polish. Okay. This is the final step. This is. You change this too. Yes, yeah, so you yeah. keep changing this. Well, this is an even softer pad. Okay. 
Hard, yep. softer, softer, softer. Okay. So this, this is the even softer pad. Do this and then you can put wax on it after okay mm -hmm. so you can even look from here to here yeah and you can see the difference oh yeah much different yeah dude that's awesome <laughs> do you do all the stages on the front already i did it on the top okay on the on the hood yeah but i but you do that before you do the wax and then wax just seals your shine in that's what it does or you ceramic coat it ceramic coat, yeah but yeah this this is turning out looking pretty good and then there are water spots on here too yeah i remember i saw them when i first came up yeah i, I got the water, water spots. spots are gone yep but that's what this is this this cuts through all that crap. okay this compound mm-hmm it's kind of like Liquid sandpaper. Okay. <laughs> chemical guys makes that one too, or no? No. No. It's McGuire's. McGuire's. Okay. And then this all this stuff's the chemical guy stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. This thing's pretty slick. Just a buffer, right? Yep. So what I do to finish up the wing, I have to go to go to this. I don't want to stop my steps. I want to. Yeah. Finish, finish it up. What I started before I. So I don't forget what I did. I oh, get to do the other side of the wing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you can see from here to here. Yep. You can see the clarity difference. Mm hmm. Everything. Okay. So basically, what you do first, you kind of even it out. And you just do even stroke. This locks it in. So you pull the trigger and you push that and it holds it in place. Okay. So you don't you don't really need to push down at all, right? It, no. it just kind of guides you. Yeah. Okay. Try to keep it away from these edges, you know, because it could rub it and stuff and okay. everything. You know, but you set it down first, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And then got push it. the I button. Pull it all the way. I gotta pull it all the way. Yeah. yeah. I don't gotta put a lot of pressure on it. Okay. Yeah. Flat even pressure on it. spins an orbital and the best way to actually polish something real good is use the orbital you know because it works in like a um it's not a it's like wax circle. on wax off <laughs> right right i mean uh it's like a sander you know did you see how easy it oh yeah off? it's just like after you wax the car it's gliding off like that yeah we're basically kind of rejuvenating the paint you know but the polish is the uh so you see well this is a cutting polish so this is like a compound to where it still cuts through it, mm -hmm. but it's polishing it at the same time. So, but you see, there's no swirl marks in here yeah, at all. Yeah, I don't see any swirl marks. Okay. Now, see, normally, see, in infrared lights, that's where you see all the imperfections. Once I pull this outside, it'll look 10 times better yeah. outside. Yeah, 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 because if you can make it look inside, it'll look good inside it'll in look here. look great outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah it'll look great outside. All done here, it's so much cleaner. So much. That looks good. You guys, Scott's telling me we got a Tarzan horn on this uh, <laughs> GT convertible here. Come right over here. All right. So you hear it real good. I feel like, I feel like you're gonna get me. <laughs> no, over here, that's where you get okay. Are you kidding me? <laughs> he had to have his car 
Yeah, he had to have that fixed, huh? He had to have that fixed. Uh, that wow. <laughs> Does it have an actual horn sound too? Yeah. Okay, it's got both. All right. Yeah, yeah. Don't go to school, so I can switch it back. <laughs> Is the sound of Tarzan horn. Okay. Yep. You love that freaking Tarzan. The kids love it too. All right, guys. So Selene is still being worked on. Still coming together. It looks really clean. Scott's doing a little details here. He's got some new valve covers coming. Looking for a strut tower. Selene strut tower brace, right? Found the original wires. Got the original wires. Back to the original air box. It's coming along. It's a little teaser. You guys will finally see the full video, but not today. Is this your favorite car here now? Has to be one of them. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. Yeah. This is the year I would want to. Either that or I like the SA10 cars too. Yeah. The other ones I like. Nice. Yeah. I like the Speedsters too. 93 Speedsters. You can even use this on tail lights, guys. Oh man, look at that shine when the sun hits it. Yeah. Super shiny. you enjoyed seeing what we could do with the paint there with the buffer here flex buffer i think it turned out really great you guys i don't know if it's going to completely show up on camera but just in person it is a world of difference how much better it looks and uh the car is up in the air right now as you can see but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please hit the like button if you're stopping for the first time please subscribe and we'll see you next time on gearhead 704